From the latest in music to the latest in fashion, allow me to introduce you to our next guest who can literally turn your trash into treasure. This is, of course, uh, T.D. Ramafolo, a design talent who not only recycles uh, your junk into fashion or arm candy, but also she's able to create clothing that is all the way proudly South African. It's great to have you here, T.D. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, and you? Fantastic. I want to talk a little bit about the work that you have created uh, with your label, Gord, Garment of Rare Distinction. I love that. Um, but tell me first, what, what implored you to explore fashion and take it into interest well it's not it's something that I've uh, I've always had passion uh, uh, for creativity yeah and it's something that I developed at a very early age and my family somehow encouraged it they just well thought well as long as I stay out of trouble keep it that way yeah so over the years I developed that interest in sewing which was inspired <clears throat> by my mother who was not um, well she couldn't work at a certain time so she had to explore different uh, hobbies yeah and that's how the love for sewing grew yeah and here we are today. It's evolved into this. I mean, at the age of three, when toddlers were learning to talk, you were learning to crochet. That's, yeah, yeah. that's amazing. And now it's developed into this beautiful range. Or this is some of the, piece that we, some of the pieces that we're going to see right now. So take us through what you've been working on. Well, um, um, actually, a couple of weeks ago, I got a call from the CCDI that they had some banners that they wanted to donate uh, for a worthy cause. And these are actually banners from the Jazz Fest, uh, Cape Town Jazz Festival. Banners? Yes, banners. You like the drop banners. Wow. That's what they are. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> They're all banners. And that one is, um, well, your normal mesh, your traditional mesh. Yes. Yes, that they use like some for, for track suits and um, sportswear. But it's a certain type of banner that works well with windy conditions mm -hmm. because it drops. And then you've got uh, this other one also. And then the bag, for instance, is made from our traditional Shangan bag that we all have. That is insane, but so, so cool and trendy as well. So, I mean, obviously, there's a, there's a bit of a, a motivation that goes behind, like, what, what I was saying. It's all about recycling. It's about protecting the environment as well and not mm. necessarily letting everything go to waste. That is correct. Yeah. I'm very uh, environmentally conscious. Yeah. And I feel that we need to change the way we look at the planet, the way we um, conduct ourselves and become more socially responsible. Yeah. If you look at the... Uh, if you look at the fact that um, global warming has taken a completely different turn, yes. that sort of worries me. And I've, I've, over the years, I've uh, learned to um, identify um, waste material as a new a form of uh, re uh, a renewable... Um, no, let me put it this way. It's more of a resource. Yes. So why spend more time, more money on new material if you can use what is already available? Wow. So I'm actually in the process of reclaiming what I can. And the necklaces are made from what looks like zips. Old, uh, what is that? Oh, these are zippers. The necklaces actually, uh, these are made from by a friend of mine, Miss Anchor yes. Jewelry. She's working on that line. So when we did the fashion show, we decided to collaborate. Wow. Yes. All proudly South African and beautiful. So with fashion evolving as it, as it is, mm -hmm. young talent coming into the fore, how are you planning to keep yourself ahead, uh, yourself ahead of the pack? I do. Well, I would ideally remain who I am. Mm -hmm. I was growing up, everybody used to say I was crazy. And I guess I'll just have to continue being crazy. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And your plan for the next five to ten years? My plan would be to um, put my, uh, my ranges in different uh, shops. I see myself going continental and probably global with time. Mm -hmm. But uh, the whole idea is to grow the continent. Yeah. And to be and to continue with my um, social responsible um, initiative. Yes. Yes. Fantastic things, and thank you very much for bringing this innovative and, and I think forward-thinking fashion to us this morning. It's called Gord Garment of Rare Distinction, and how trendy is that? Do you guys feel good? Give me like a, a nod, <laughs> wearing that. Yeah. Do you? Do you? Yeah. You can't. No, you don't have to, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. It looks very, very good indeed. Uh, thank you so much, Tidi, for being here with us this morning. Uh, thank you so much, Katia. Well, there it is. Let us know. We'll take a few pictures for you and uh, show it to you on our Express Morning show SABC3 Facebook page. Let us know what you think of this beautiful and proudly South African fashion range. Right now let's catch up with the headlines and Zoe Brown is on it.